So back in the 1980s, when Apple and Macintosh were starting to make their debut, they were becoming the beautiful animal that they are today, something kind of special happened that I'm not sure too many people know and I want to talk about it today, kind of com compare it and connect it to today's topic. So, back in the 1980s, Apple created obviously a product known as the Apple Computer. What some people also don't know is that well, while they were creating the computer, they were buying the software from Bill Gates, Microsoft. So Microsoft was supplying them with the software that was going into the computer and it was a very coinciding with relationship, it was great. Steve trusted Bill almost too much. Steve brought Bill in to show Bill this grand new idea that he had for the next Macintosh or Apple, whatever he called it. Once Bill left that facility, Steve really didn't hear from Bill again. And that's because my man Bill took the idea and created what is known as the Windows computer. He created the Windows computer with his software and took basically stole Steve Jobs' idea. Once this happened, he no longer needed to supply Steve with software. So Apple basically was on this downhill decline to death. So that leaves us with an interesting situation. Here. My man Bill basically accomplished everything. He beat his competition. And that's key there. Remember that he beat his competition. So Steve decides to make a phone call one day in the 1980s to Bill. Steve's got nothing to stand on here. He's beat. He has lost everything. Bill's got everything that he needs. He's he's won. He calls he calls Bill. Beep, 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 beep. Yo, Bill. Steve. Steve says to Bill, Bill, I don't think you realize this, but you're going to need me more than I'm going to need you. And what he meant by that was is Bill needed him as a competitor more than Steve needed him as a supplier. And that's because competition is a very healthy way of pushing people to get better, right? It drives the best out of people and it continues to push you to make you grow. Iron sharpens iron. And I think, you know, Steve knew that and he had to make sure that Bill knew that because without Steve, I don't think... Um, Windows would be where it is today and without Bill, Apple wouldn't be where it was today because they're constantly trying to overstep one another. Now you're asking, Sheldon, how does this, what does this have to do with Wisdom Wednesday? I'm gonna tell you, fucking haters. But if you close your eyes. Ooh, good morning guys, so uh, yes, today's topic is about haters and I got this inspiration from my buddy Ricky he posted a video the other day about some haters that he's been dealing with well actually close people that he calls his friends that were hating on him so I wanted to kind of elaborate and build off that because I thought about it and I've, I've been thinking about making something like this for a little bit now because haters is something that we're never going to be able to avoid but they're frustrating they're annoying why why my I don't think I will ever understand why somebody feels the need to put somebody else down for their creativity or for whatever it may be but we live in a world where we have those kind of people and I think I'm starting to realize that. I don't think I'll ever have a full understanding of that, but I have to swallow it. I mean, we can sit here, we can bash those guys, we can bash those haters and call them losers because like, basically my thing is is that they're pathetic people who just sit behind a computer and the people who do least talk the most. But that doesn't really get us anywhere, right? Because then all we're doing is becoming them. We're hating on them for hating on us and now everyone's just a hater. So. Back to my Steve and Bill story. Competition, they needed each other to succeed. It made me realize that without the haters, I wouldn't have succeeded. We need haters to thrive off of, to succeed, to get better every day. They're the fuel. They are the food on my plate that I eat to fulfill my body. That's what a hater is. They're the gasoline to your tank. Once I, once I kind of like, I understand this a little bit more when I actually compared it to that because they're the competition, right? And in reality, the irony here is, if you allow the hater to fuel you, fuel you, <laughs> fuel you, you are defeating the hate's purpose. Without saying anything, all you're doing is doing. So, that's all I had. That's all I wanted to go over today. I wanted to talk about the haters, but I didn't want to give them the credibility by hating on them back because that doesn't do anything. I did a little bit, but that doesn't do anything. Because they're still gonna hate. You're not gonna change their mind for hating, but what I can do is I can take that, I can put it in a blender, I can put some protein in there, I can drink it, and then I can be ready to go. So, eat the haters, swallow them up, continue to thrive off that competition, and continue to thrive off the negativity and use it as fuel. It's a beautiful thing. They literally lay it out there for us. So we, 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 we push it away for some reason. In reality, we just take it in, learn from it, because sometimes even though it is hate, it is criticism in a sense. Maybe you can learn from it. I don't know. That's up to you to decide. But listen to the words. Don't ignore it. <coughs> listen to what they're saying, because even though they may, they may be, you know, being hate, hatred about it, they might have some sense there that you could tweak and toggle with. So that is it. That is my Wisdom Wednesday fucking haters. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be back here tomorrow because it's every damn day, whether I'm sick, whether it's raining, whether it's beautiful out like it is today. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be on your TV screens, on your computer phones. Computer phones, <laughs> computer. I am out of it. I'm sick, y'all gotta come into Slack with these words right now. Anyway, I will be there in front of you, hopefully bringing a smile to your faces, a splatter in your heart. So stay hype, continue to find your splatter, and make sure you love them to your left, to your right, and as always, baby, have a good night.